Hi everyone, in this video we'll learn how to install libraries within Google Colab. Google Colab comes preloaded with many popular packages such as pandas, numpy, and matplotlib. The way that we can check which packages are installed is we can start with an exclamation point. This will allow us to run shell commands that I am going to call pip freeze. And we have a list here of all the pre-installed libraries. We can see that we have pandas here and numpy as well. Even though there are a lot of pre-installed libraries, there may also be libraries that are not installed within Google Colab by default that you may want to access. Let's try to import a certain library. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run a try accept code block. So I'm gonna say try. And what Google Colab is going to try to do is it's going to try to import a package Y Finance. And then I need to put in accept in. And what this will do is it will return a message saying that the package is not found if it isn't within Google Colab. We can see that the package is not pre-installed and I can also hover over it and we can see that there's an issue where it has missing imports labeled as the error. What I could do is I could call on pip to install Y Finance. Let's try this pip install Y Finance. And as with pip freeze, we need a exclamation point at the beginning. Let's run this. And let's try importing Y Finance. We can see that we were able to import it and it is now installed. We can also use apt get to install certain packages. Apt get is another shell command and we need to specify that we are installing a package, in this case, GhostScript, which is used for optical character recognition. Let's run the cell. To check that we installed GhostScript, I am going to start off with another exclamation point. I'm going to say GS and check the version. And we can see that we were able to successfully install it. And this is the current version of GhostScript that was downloaded. We can also install packages using a requirements text file. You all often find these on GitHub repos or within projects that require many different libraries. I have a text file for Spacey, which is a popular NLP package. And these are all the required libraries that are needed to run Spacey. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drag and drop my text file into the content folder here. Then I am going to copy the path. Finally, I am going to install it. I'm going to start with pip install again. And this time I need to specify that I am reading the text file. So I need a dash R. And finally, I need to put in the path. And we can see all of these packages have now been downloaded. We can install packages using Git as well. And this is going to start off with an exclamation point. And I'm going to say Git clone. And we are going to clone a GitHub repository. In this case, we'll be cloning the spacey repo. We put in the address for Spacey when we want to clone it. And we'll see that we are going to have the Spacey repo cloned into the content folder here. Now that we've cloned it, what I want to do is I want to change into the Spacey directory. The way that we can do it in Google Colab is start with a percentage sign CD, and then I want to go into Spacey. We are now in the Spacey folder. Next, what I need to do is I need to actually install Spacey. And the way that we do this is I'm going to call pip install, and then it's just going to have a period here. What this does is it is going to run the setup pi file here, and this will install Spacey. Let's run this. And we've been able to install our package. Depending on the size, it may take some time when you're cloning from Git and installing it this way. The reason you may want to download a package from Git and install it this way is there may be a beta version that's only available on GitHub, and that's why you install it with Git. What we can do next is we can change directory back to content. And finally, I am going to try to import Spacey we can see that we successfully installed and imported it. What happens if we want to permanently install libraries? For instance, if I change the runtime or completely got rid of the runtime, 
then we wouldn't have access to the package anymore. Let's try this out. Let's connect to a new Google Colab session. And what I am going to try to do is I am going to import Y Finance. We can see that we are unable to because we installed Y Finance in a previous session, but within our new session, we do not have it installed. What we could do is there's a Stack Overflow post that asks this question, and I'm going to go through one of the answers. I am going to connect to my Google Drive and save a package in there. So what I'm going to do is import OS, import sys, then connect to my Google Drive. And we need to give Google permission in order to allow this. Since we are saving a package within our drive, only work with packages that you trust because there are malicious Python packages. So be very careful when saving certain packages into your Google Drive. Next, what I'm going to do is I am going to create a new folder. I am going to call the exclamation point for a shell command, mkdir, make directory. And I am going to create a new directory in my Google Drive called packages. We created the new folder. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a variable called package path. And this is going to be a new folder within our content that is going to contain our package. Next, we are going to call OS and we are going to call OS symlink. This is going to call on the packages folder that we created and package path. Then we are going to do syspath insert for the package path. Let's run this. And we can see here that we have our new packages directory and we also have ours in Google Drive as well. What I'll do is I am going to install a package. I'll call pip install dash dash target. And I want to do this within the package path. I'm going to put a dollar sign here, package path, and I am going to install a package called Piper Clip. And we were able to install it. We could try to import it. We can see that it was imported. What I also want to do is I want to create a new notebook and try to import Piper Clip there. Like before, we'll have to also connect to Google Colab or Google Drive. And then I need to run the same OS and sys functions to do this. So we'll need to connect to our Google Drive. And we can see that we were able to import Piper Clip. Again, you want to be careful when you're downloading packages into your Google Drive because you don't want to download malicious packages. You may also want to save this for larger packages such as TensorFlow that are more complicated because it may be easier just to pip install each time you have a new session within Google Colab. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope that this video was helpful. I included some resources, including the Stack Overflow post that shows how to download packages into your Google Drive and call on them later. If you found this video helpful, feel free to like and subscribe. You can also connect with me on LinkedIn, Twitter, GitHub, and Odyssey. Thanks again everyone for watching and happy coding.